As everyone is well aware by now, Habib Nurmagomedov versus Conor McGregor, UFC 229 in Vegas. Yeah, that happened. And that's Habib, not Khabib. I thought it might be Habib, but for some reason I followed Joe Rogan's lead. Khabib. Riddle of Khabib. Khabib. Khabib time. Khabib time. Really? Oh my god. I should have known better. Anyways, Habib murked Conor McGregor. Initially, I thought Habib would win in his usual dominant fashion, but it's really hard to completely discount Conor McGregor considering the talent he's shown over so many fights. Someone like Conor always has a chance given his talents for striking. A puncher's chance, if you will. More than that, obviously, but along those lines. Habib dominated the fight, not just in what he was doing, but what he took away from Connor. Connor looked confused and sluggish. Habib stood toe to toe with Connor much longer than he needed to in the third round. Even then, Connor didn't seem that sharp, and that was Connor's best bet at winning the match. No doubt Connor was adversely affected by some ring rust and possibly by the massive payout he received from the Mayweather fight, but more than that, I think Habib is just too much for Connor. He's too dangerous, he's proven that fight after fight. No one wants Habib on them like a boa constrictor, wrapping them up in the weirdest of ways and then suddenly raining punches down on them or picking them up and slamming them to the ground like a rag doll. There was a lot of hype for the fight, I wanted to see the fight, but I don't really care about a rematch because it wasn't a close fight and I don't see how Conor McGregor is going to close the gap this quickly. Conor has already said he wants a rematch. I kind of think Habib may want to give him a rematch, if for nothing else, just to beat him up more, maybe this time in Dagestan or something. Regardless of whether it ends up being a good fight, people will want to see it, so I suppose there's money to be made and maybe it will actually happen. Oddly enough, the fight itself took a backseat to everything that happened after the fight. Habib jumped out of the cage and went after one of Connor's coaches who allegedly was yelling insults at him throughout the fight and after the fight. I'm not going to mention what those insults were, but they were pretty bad. Connor also tried to jump out of the cage but was restrained and then allegedly threw a punch at someone on Habib's team. Then as most of us have seen, People from Habib's team went at Connor, most notably a guy who punched him in the head from behind. As a result of all this BS, Habib was not awarded his belt in the octagon after the fight. A few people, presumably on Habib's team, who were involved in the commotion were arrested, and the Nevada State Athletic Commission is considering keeping Habib's $2 million purse for the fight, the entire purse. The Nevada State Athletic Commission is also going to hand out temporary suspensions to both fighters and will do a comprehensive investigation. Dana White issued a statement saying that any fighters involved in the skirmish besides Habib and Connor would never be allowed to fight in the UFC again. He also said he doesn't believe the Nevada State Athletic Commission should keep Habib's entire purse. I agree with Dana White on both counts. To me, it seemed like Habib just wasn't satisfied with the damage he did to Connor during the fight. Right after he won, it looked like he wanted to inflict more pain on him, possibly in an effort to change his face as he alluded to many times before the fight. I think that's partially why he was so quick to jump out of the cage and fight Connor's coach who had been insulting him throughout the bout. During the fight, Connor mentioned something about it all being business. A little too little, a little too late. An outright BS when your corner is still hurling those same insults Insults at Habib during the fight. That made Connor look hella weak in my opinion, especially considering he was getting his ass beat. It's basically like, have mercy on me because I was just kidding before, it's not real, it's just business, don't beat me up so much. 
Prior to the fight, Connor in an interview with Ariel Hawani said that even after the fight, the feud wouldn't be over. Of course, we all remember the incident when McGregor stormed the Barclays Center with a large group of people and attacked a bus that Habib was on. The whole thing started as some kind of gang type situation thing, which is why I'm not that surprised at what happened after this fight. Even though Connor customarily disrespects his opponents prior to fights, this whole thing seemed way different, and his constant jabs about Habib's religion, ethnicity, background, father, etc., it was way over the top and just seemed more real considering the bus attack. If Connor's coach was really hurling those insults that people are saying he was, I think he should have expected to get attacked. I don't agree with Habib leaving the cage, but when you keep trying to press someone's buttons, especially a fighter like Habib, I don't think you can be surprised when that person finally snaps. The guy on Habib's team who hit Connor from behind is a complete idiot. This wasn't a street fight that involved group on group activity or something like that. That's probably the only instance I can imagine it being acceptable to do such a thing. The dude wasn't in any jeopardy and no one else was either. There was absolutely no reason to swing on someone from behind, especially someone who had just had a professional fight and notably lost the fight. The guy who did that is supposedly a UFC fighter who by by the way has now destroyed his career for absolutely nothing. He can brag that he hit a guy from behind. No one is really going to celebrate that. Aside from that, he's the one person most likely to face criminal liability even though Connor is not pressing charges. If he gets a conviction for violent behavior, forget about another visa to the US, it could make traveling in general very difficult for this guy. His best bet at this point is Khabib hiring him to be his driver in Dagestan. Khabib, Khabib time, Khabib time. Really? Oh my God. <laughs>